everybody. Welcome to the Wisconsin Athletic Club's Move at Home series. My name is Jess. I'm a physical therapist, personal trainer, and group fitness instructor at WAC Downtown. Um, today we're going to do a yoga practice. It will be 45 minutes. We will focus on shoulders, shoulder stretching and shoulder mobility. Um, for the class, you'll probably want to have a yoga mat and a stretching strap. And if you don't have a yoga stretching strap, you can use a dog leash or um, a belt or a towel at home. I also have two blocks. So if you have blocks, we'll be using the blocks for um, a posture at the end um, called fish pose. And then of course, have some water nearby because you might get thirsty and it's always good to hydrate. Um, so to get started, we will start in standing. I'm gonna face you to begin and then I'm gonna face to the side. Um, so for the first thing that we do, we're going to work on standing in mountain pose. So kind of press down through the toes, ground down through your heels, lift your arches, relax through the kneecaps, press your heels down, reach the crown of your head tall. And you can have your eyes open or closed here. We're just going to take three breaths to kind of calm our thoughts. Take a nice inhale through the nose. Feel the belly expand. Exhale, draw the belly in. Inhale through the nose, belly expands. Exhale and relax. One more breath, inhale. And exhale. We're gonna add breathing with that. So with the arms, inhale, arms up overhead. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Two more, inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Inhale, bring the arms up and exhale, bring the arms down. Reverse, let's take the arms up through center as you inhale. Exhale, bring the hands around. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, bring them around. One more time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring them around and bring them back to heart center. We're going to take the arms out in front and just find a nice twist. So we're taking the right arm out to the right, and then see if you can finish that rotation with your eyeballs looking at your hand. Inhale, bring your hand back to center. Exhale, open for a twist. Inhale, bring yourself back to center. Two more each side. Exhale, open. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And one more time. Exhale, open. Inhale, open, and bring it back to center. We're going to do the same thing on the toes. So we're going to go up onto the toes, raising our um, heels off the ground, bringing the arms up just for a little bit of a balance challenge, kind of warm up our system. So on those toes, go ahead and sit into a little bit of a chair, and then go ahead and open. Uh, right arm out to the side. It's a little bit wobbly. Bring yourself back, it's a little challenge. Open as you exhale. Inhale as you bring it back. Two more times, exhale. Inhale, bring it back to center. Exhale. Inhale, one more time. Inhale, center. Last one, hopefully those calves are burning too. And you can bring your feet down, arms down, rest in mountain pose, take a little break. Um, feel free to grab water at any time in your home practice with this. I'll try to cue some water breaks for you guys so that you don't go the entire practice without drinking water. Um, so from here, I'm going to turn to face um, forward for me so you can see the rest of my postures and demonstrations for the class. So from here, let's go ahead and take the arms up overhead as we inhale. Sitting back into that chair pose, Uttakasana. We can take the hands to heart center for this posture. We can also bring them behind for a nice shoulder blade squeeze. Just working on that good posture. We tend to get hunched over forward, so just drawing the shoulder blades together really helps to feel better in our upper body. We can also take those arms up overhead, drawing the shoulder blades down. Working on our base here, nice core, um, core strength and glute strength. So from here, we're gonna go into diver's pose. 
taking our arms behind us as we rise up onto our toes, as we exhale, inhale, bringing our heels down and our arms forward. Exhale, lift up, inhale forward, two more, exhale, lift up, inhale forward, and one more, exhale, lift, inhale forward. Let's go ahead and take our right foot back into a crescent lunge. Arms can go up overhead. We're working on our balance and our leg strength, of course. We're gonna also work on our shoulders and our arm mobility here while we balance. So let's first just take our hands behind us, get a nice big stretch of the shoulders, reach them, reach them. And then inhale your arms back up overhead. Exhale, open into those cactus arms, 90 degrees. Inhale forward, exhale, open. Inhale, arms forward, exhale, open. One more, inhale forward, exhale, open. And then bring those hands behind your back again. And just a nice stretch of the shoulders. Just a little guard on the shoulders. And then one more thing with us, let's bring the arms forward. Hopefully those legs are burning. Go ahead and open your right arm to the right for that nice big twist, look at your hands. And then bring it back as you inhale, close. Exhale, left arm for that twist. Inhale, bring it back. Two more on each side. Work in those legs and those upper body. Bring yourself back. You're gonna fall over and die, but that's okay because we're working strong together. Bring it back. We got one more time. Open, the twist. Inhale, close. Exhale, open. Inhale and bring yourself back up, chair pose, hold, and mountain pose, rest. Oh, it's nice and warm now. Good job, everyone. Take five breaths and just let your body calm down. Maybe do some shoulder circles. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Let's we'll start with diver's pose again. So first we find chair pose. So sit your hips back, arms can start in prayer. You can reach them back and just feeling that strength and then bring them forward for that full Uttasana chair pose. You're going to lift back as you exhale. Inhale, sit back down. Exhale, lift up. Inhale. Exhale, diver's pose. Inhale, chair pose. Two more. Exhale. Inhale. One, exhale, and inhale. Stepping back into crescent lunge. Taking your left leg back this time, arms are up overhead. Just find a nice stretch of your upper body, your chest, your shoulders, reaching your hands down behind you, getting that nice big stretch. Maybe change your digits one finger over just to be symmetrical as best as you can. Should feel pretty good, just nice stretch. And then reach your arms out in front of you. We're gonna do those cactus arms again. So reach forward as you inhale, exhale, chest goes forward. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, chest forward. Two more, inhale forward. Exhale. One more time, inhale forward. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Let's do one more. Forward, and last one. And bring your arms out in front, and do those nice reaches, working on that balance, working on those shoulders. So this time, let's start with your left arm, reaching out to the side. Go ahead and get a nice big reach. Your eyeballs are the last thing to look. And then inhale forward. Exhale, open the right arm. Do your best to hold your balance. Bring it back. Two more on each side. Open as you exhale. Inhale, bring it back. Exhale, open. Inhale, bring it back. One more on each side. Inhale, forward. And last one. Whew. Hands behind your back. Relax those shoulders, pull them down. And 
then let's bring ourselves back into that crescent lunge. Step forward, we pop on your mat. Hands down, and let's grab a quick water. Nice job. Cheers, everybody. Quick water break. Okay, we should feel nice and warmed up and ready to go. So let's get into a little bit of the flow. Bring your arms up overhead. Exhale, find a forward fold. Drop your head down. Take a nice inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Step your feet back. Find plank pose. Working on that shoulder strength. Draw the belly up and in. Push into the ground with your feet. And then let's take the knees down. Exhale, lower all the way onto your belly. Inhale for a cobra. If you'd like to try sphinx, you can take your hands out a little bit wider. Use the fingertips to push you up. And then exhale back into downward facing dog. From here, to get the work out of your arms and more into your legs, bend your knees, push your hips back, and drop your head. Kind of shake out your neck muscles, relax your head. Pedal out your feet. Try to shift the weight more back into your heels and hips. And then take a lion's breath together. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. One more time. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Now let's go up onto the toes. Bring yourself forward to the top of the mat. Forward fold, drop your head. And then inhale for halfway lift. Exhale. Forward fold. Inhale, stand all the way tall up overhead and exhale, hands to heart center. Arshadrasana, half moon pose. Inhale, your arms up overhead. I'm going to turn towards you guys so you can see me with this pose. You can let your fingertips point forward. Inhale up tall, press down through your feet and exhale. Big side body stretch to the right and your left, whichever way you want to go. Push down through your heels and inhale back up tall. Exhale to the opposite side. Reach your fingertips away from your heels and push down through those heels as you lift up. One more time. Inhale up tall. Exhale to the side. Reach a nice big stretch. Press down as you inhale and exhale over to the opposite side. Inhale back up tall and exhale, hands down to heart center. Forward fold, reach forward towards the ground, allow your head to relax back down. Inhale for halfway lift, and exhale, hands down. Step your feet back, find plank. This time, instead of lowering the knees, keep your legs lifted. You can still have the option to lower the knees if you choose. Exhale, lower down, bend your elbows. Inhale for upward facing dog. And exhale, back to downward facing dog. Allow your head to relax here. If you'd like to find child's pose, that is great as well. Just find a little bit of relaxation. Go ahead and take a nice inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. All right, take your hips back. Find downward facing dog. Press into your left foot as you raise your right leg. Exhale, crunch your knee to your chest. Inhale, kick your leg back. Two more. Exhale, crunch in. Inhale, kick your leg back. Exhale, crunch in. And step your foot through to the top of your mat. And find that crescent lunge that we were in earlier. Bring your arms up overhead. Then from here, just hold for three breaths. Nice and strong through the legs. Pressing your front heel, that right heel down, and your left toes away from that heel. We're going to split the arms and find warrior two. So that back foot turns down, your heels are in one line, your arms split. Flipping down your right fingertips. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, 
coming to extended side angle. Reaching your left arm up overhead, pressing your left heel down, stretching through the side body. Let's repeat. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Right arm goes up. And exhale, extended side angle. Inhale, back up tall for warrior two. Then we're going to turn to face forward, find crescent lunge. And then moving into pyramid pose, bring your left foot back in a little bit so that your heel comes down like you're in warrior one. Straighten your right leg out and bring your hands down to frame your right foot, allowing your head to relax back down. If you have blocks, you may place the blocks on the ground to reach your hands to the blocks. Stretching the back of your right leg, allow your heart to go forward and your head to relax down. Press into both of your heels, take a nice inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more breath, inhale and exhale. Now, if you'd like to try this, you can take your hands behind your back. A nice stretch here as well. Three breaths. Nice inhale through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. And then you can put the blocks off to the side. Bend into your right knee. Inhale your right arm up for a twist. Step your right foot back to side plank. Maybe do a nice reach, lab thing, and flip yourself back into plank. Exhale your vinyasa. Exhale, Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale for upward facing dog, and exhale back into downward facing dog. If you like some water, this will be a good time for a little bit of a water break. And then we'll do the same on the other side. I like to try in child's pose. Take a little break here. Three breaths in child's pose. And then let's find downward facing dog. Take your hips back, drop your head, pedal at your feet. This time, make your right leg strong as you float the left leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale, crunch your heel in toward your rear and bring your knee forward as you crunch. Inhale, keep your leg high. Two more. Exhale, draw in. Inhale, high and back. Exhale, draw in. And step forward to the top of your mat. For that crescent lunge. Arms drop overhead. And we're just staying here for three breaths. Imagining that you're pushing through that right foot away from your left heel, like you're about to run. And then split the arms open for warrior two. Your heels should be in a straight line. Your back foot is turned out so it's parallel to the back of your mat, perpendicular to your front foot. Arms reach wide and long. Dig down to your heels. And then inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, find extended side angle. We have a guest, we have a guest here today. This is my cat. Everyone say hello to Katniss. She likes to walk around and invade my um, yoga tutorials. So this is Katniss. She'll probably walk around a little bit. Don't mind her. We'll continue. <laughs> so go ahead and bring your right arm up for that extended side angle. Nice big reach stretching down the side of your body. And change. Find reverse warrior. And one more time. Extended side angle. 
beautiful. Inhale, back is tall. And spine triangle next. Straightening your left leg, reaching your right arm up. Reaching down as you look up tall. Pressing down through your heels. Imagining there's a wall behind you. And you stay in a straight line. Press your heels down, lift up, turn to face the front, and bring your hips so that they face forward. And you can bring your right heel down. We're gonna find that nice pyramid pose again. So press your heels down, heart goes forward, hands grab for your blocks, drop your head, relax your head. Feel the stretch in the back of your left leg. Three breaths, inhale, and exhale. And one more breath, inhale, and exhale. Now for that challenge, bring your hands behind you, reach your arms up towards the ceiling, press your hips back, push down through the heels, and try to feel the stretch in the shoulders. And then bring yourself back up by pushing your heels down. You can set your blocks off to the side. And then wiggle your hands down to the ground. Nice twist. Left arm up. And then step your left foot back. Go to that side plank. Maybe a wild thing, reaching your left arm up and over. Go ahead and flip back to plank. Your vinyasa. Exhale. Chaturanga to Nasana. Inhale for your upward facing dog. And exhale back into child's pose. Take five breaths and relax. Drop your head down. And then move the blocks out of the way. And then from here, let's take the left arm underneath the right, running the needle, getting a nice shoulder stretch, just a nice passive stretch. You can turn your head to look at your hand. Nice relaxing stretch for your shoulders. Focus on your breathing. And change. Left arm out in front. Right arm can go underneath. And then bring your arms out in front. Elbows can bend. Bring your elbows forward as you sit your rear back, stretching out the shoulders. You can also try this on the blocks. So if you'd like to stretch your shoulders, you can bring the blocks into this. Bring your elbows up a little bit higher and sit your hips more back. It's a little bit deeper of a stretch. Three breaths. to the belly to get those blocks out of the way and you can lower all the way onto your stomach. So for this we're going to do some shoulder blade strengthening, the locust pose variations, and then some pec stretching on our stomachs. So first, just to work the shoulder blades, let's find Cobra, Bhujangasana, hands go forward, peel the shoulder blades back, engage the glutes, point the toes, pull the shoulders down and back. You can do this with your hands close to you. You can bring your hands out for a little bit more of a sphinx. Just working on that just shoulder blades pulling back. And then we can add this, we can add to this with our locust pose variations. So to begin, let's turn the face to the side and just relax the arms down by your side, palms facing up, thumbs are in towards you. And we're going to lift the head and the arms and the shoulder blades as we reach them backwards, pulling the shoulder blades together. So inhale first, exhale, pull the shoulder blades back as if someone is literally pulling your hands. Stomach is tight, toes are pointed, glutes are engaged, one more breath, and then you're gonna turn so that your right side of the face is on the mat when you come down. 
relax, three breaths. And inhale, exhale, lift, reach yourself long, shoulder blades drawn in and back. One more breath. And come down, turn your face, look to the right, so your left ear is on the mat. Next, we're gonna take the arms out to the side. So if they like the letter T with your body, you can start with your left side, ear down, looking to the right. We're gonna do the same exact thing for our back strengthening, shoulder blade strengthening sequence here for locust pose. So here we go, inhale, exhale, Squeeze the shoulder blades, point the toes. Hold here for two more breaths. One more breath. And then bring the hands in, turn to look to the opposite side. Right ear on the mat. Three breaths. And repeat. Arms out to the side like letter T. Zip the legs like cobra's tail. Shoulder blades pulled down and back. Stomach tight, glutes squeezed, toes pointed. Inhale, exhale, lift up. Reach yourself long. Two more breaths, inhale. And exhale, inhale. And exhale. And you can bring your arms down by your side and lower down and relax. Next, we're gonna take the arm up to the side for a back stretch. We're gonna bring the left hand to your left shoulder. Your right arm is out to the side. We're gonna roll onto that right arm. As you turn to the left, the left leg will come up and back. Your right or your left hand can stay down, or you can take your left hand to your lower back. We're stretching through the right shoulder and chest. Three breaths here. And change, bringing yourself onto the mat. Left arm will go out to the side. You can press with your right hand underneath your right shoulder as you roll yourself onto your left side. The right leg will bend as you bring your right hip back. Right hand can come to your lower back for that half bind. And then stretch through the left shoulder, chest. Should feel like a great stretch for the front of that left shoulder. Those pec muscles usually get really tight, especially when we're on our phones, computers. Let's take two more breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And bring yourself back to center. Looks like child's pose. And then let's grab for the stretching strap. We're going to do just a little bit of shoulder stretches. Um, you can sit on blocks for this if you'd like. So you can sit on the block in either a kneeling position, like so, or you can sit on the block um, in a cross-legged position. Whatever is most comfortable for you at home. Um, you can use your stretching strap, your yoga strap, your belt, your towel, whatever you prefer. Um, we're gonna take the strap up overhead and just stretch the arms backward, bringing the hands back down and coming all the way back down. So inhale up, exhale back, inhale forward, and exhale down. Two more times. Just working on that shoulder mobility. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Bringing the arms up overhead. So turning your body to the side, just tilting, stretching through your armpit, your lat dorsi, reaching through, 
a big stretch. Inhale back up to center and exhale over to the other side. Inhale, center, one more on each side. Exhale. Inhale back up tall and exhale. Inhale, center. You can bring your right arm behind you. Both hands are going to come behind your back. Strap can come over your shoulder. And then we're just working on bringing the hand somewhat up the back. So I'll face this way so you can get a better idea of my shoulders. So someday the goal of having the hands touch um, as you reach one arm up and the other down. So you can use the strap to help you get there. So pull the shoulder and elbow back as you slowly use your right hand to pull your left arm up. You should feel a stretch through the front of the left shoulder. Let's get three more breaths here. This one can be a little tender, so just be, be kind to yourself. Don't force it with the shoulders. All right, let's change and try the other side, same thing. So this time you're taking the opposite arm behind you. You're going to pull down and that helps to lift your hands up. Again, make sure you pull your shoulder and your elbow back so that you feel a stretch through the front of your right shoulder. Someday again, the goal is so that the hands come to touch. Three breaths. One more seated twist. You take your left leg out in front and your right knee. You can hug into your knee and turn to twist. Bring your right hand to your lower back. Inhale, nice tall spine. Exhale, turn and twist. Inhale, tall spine. And exhale, twist. One more inhale. Okay, go ahead and switch. Other side, same exact thing. This time, come hugging your left knee into you. Go ahead and hug your knee and lift your, your spine nice and tall. Press down to help lift up. As you inhale, exhale, twist. Inhale, tall spine. Exhale, twist. 
Finger am Bauch ein. Und exhale fest. Okay, bring yourself back to center. And then let's grab for your yoga blocks if you have them. Setting up for supported fish pose, which is a heart opener on your back. Um, you're gonna set the blocks about, about a fist or yeah, about a fist distance away from each other. Um, the lower block is going to be going across your mid back, um, across the nipple line or bra line, your upper back. And the second one is a pillow for your head to lay on. So you can adjust that. Um, the block has three different layers, so you can do this. You can do this, you can do this so that you have an appropriate pillow. Some people's necks are tighter than others. So you want something that feels comfortable for you to allow your head to relax on the block. Your arms go out to the side and your legs can straighten. And you can just stretch your shoulders, reaching those arms out to the side. So you can do snow angels. Bringing your arms down, reaching your arms up. You can just take your arms um, straight up overhead, getting a nice stretch through your shoulders. And lastly, you can do cactus arms, where you can rotate your shoulders into internal and external rotation, just stretching your shoulders at your side. Reaching a nice big stretch. I like to stay in this pose for at least a few minutes. So feel free to enjoy this pose for as long as you like. And then after this, we will find a nice supine twist. So let's bring ourselves off of the blocks. You can just kind of roll to the side and set the blocks back off to the side. Rolling onto your backs. Taking your knees windshield wipering them from side to side and then taking your knees to the left anchoring them down reaching your right arm out for a twist so make sure those blocks are out of the way nice twist look to your right arm And change. Bring your knees to the right, hand goes on the legs, reach your left arm out to the left. Find a nice stretch here through the chest, shoulder, and side body. Three breaths. And then you can bring your legs back to center and grab for a happy baby. So go ahead and bend your knees. You can kick your legs around side to side. You can do one leg and then the other leg. And just pretend like you're a little happy baby trying to get your spine flat to the ground. Take a nice inhale here and exhale. If there's any other postures you wanted to finish and play with, maybe taking your legs up and over your head, your plow, your shoulder stand, anything else that's kind of fun to you, getting your feet up above your head, maybe finding um, an inversion of some sort. And then meeting in Savasana, your final resting position, good body pose, corpse pose, Traditionally, this is taught with your arms alongside your body, palms facing up, heels together, and toes turned out. But at home, please feel free to modify however you would like so that your body is comfortable. Find a heaviness in the face, maybe the eyes close. Feel the jaw fall away from your ears, the tongue away from the roof of your mouth. Relax through the shoulders, Find heaviness at your elbows. Let the fingertips go. Feel 
the belly rise on your inhales and fall on your exhales. Allow the thighs to relax and be heavy. Find a softness to your kneecaps. And allow the toes to become so heavy that they just turn out to the side. Imagining you have a heavy blanket over the top of you, allowing you to relax and sink into your mat. Focus on your breathing. Try to find stillness. Three more breaths. And then inhale through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh. One more. Inhale, lion's breath through the nose. Exhale, open mouth, sigh. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, roll your neck side to side. You may take your arms up for a big stretch. Bring your arms down and roll onto your most favorite side. You can curl up and stay there for a breath or two. And then you can lift yourself up and we will close out our practice in seated. Um, you can find a seated posture with your knees crossed or with your ankles crossed, um, or you can kneel whatever is most comfortable to you. I invite you to raise your arms up as you inhale, exhaling your hands to heart center. It's always my honor to lead the practice. Thank you for um, joining today. The light within me shines through the light within each of you be kind to others, be kind to yourself, and be kind to others. Namaste. Thank you for joining the Wax uh, Move at Home series. Make sure you tune in tomorrow for Cardio Kickboxing with Jenny.